Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in the video we're going to be doing a challenge, you can already tell by the title and the thumbnail, but as you know we're going to be doing a challenge video and we're going to be doing a full face using the James Charles Explosive Palette. Excuse the mess right there, I dropped hot wax on it and it ruined it, but it didn't ruin the inside because I use it almost every day. <laughs> we're going to be trying to do a full face of makeup using this palette, except for foundation and concealer because I feel as if I want to give the palette like a full chance, you know? So that is the only thing. But I haven't been on YouTube that much. I've literally been so busy. I haven't been at home. One of my main goals this year or something that I wanted to do was spend more time with family that I haven't or didn't last year. So that's what I've been doing. I'm not even in my normal setup. If this is your first time seeing my face, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment. It's literally free. Um, you don't have to pay anything. You just get to see me and watch free content. So you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, how you doing? So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get on with the video. The thing I'm gonna do is eyebrows and actually almost every time I do my eyebrows, I use this. So that isn't gonna be a challenge, but I'll still show it to you. Um, if you wanna see how I get my brows, there'll be a link in the description if you wanna see how I get my brows normally, because I usually use a brow pencil too, but I'll show you how to get my brows here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on with the brows. I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. pencil eyebrow style thing. It's like this. Um, it's like $5 at Walmart and I really like it. It's very precise. I don't know if you can see, but it's very. The first shade that I'm gonna be taking is the shade Benny and I'm just gonna be outlining. This stuff in this challenge is literally so easy because I literally already do this. And use every single bit of your money out of the palette. So like if you can use it for blush or something, you know, like use it, you know? Um, obviously, I don't use it like that, but, you know, just get your money's worth. Just blending this fully through. Asked Instagram what they wanted me to post on YouTube, because here recently, I've literally been growing so much on Instagram. Um, Jeffree Star, literally one of my fave brands. If I was rich, I would have every single thing. But he actually repost, his brand page actually reposted one of my videos onto their story. And I literally went from 800 to a thousand in like a day and it was like so cool and the um views on my video like doubled so it was like here recently i've been wanting to follow makeup tutorials like just so that i know in my head like what i want to do it like if i just like look at something if like look at a palette i like won't know what to do so i want like a little bit of inspiration and last night i like literally scroll through instagram and find inspirations but anyway last night i found this person on instagram her username is makeup yo underscore offer her username up right here but she does pictorials and such and you really need to go follow her i followed her last night but this is a valentine's look that she did and i'm gonna be following it like not following it but like using it for inspiration like yeah i don't know if you can see that but like see she does a pictorial and like she shows what shade to use so that's what i'm gonna be following today um so yeah we're just gonna follow that Okay, so now we're going to get on with this tutorial. I'm going to be taking the shade Skip on an M433, and I'm just going to be running that through my If you do not have this brush, you need to get 27 of them because James Charles has that many. And they're really good to, like, get, like, right here without, like, getting over here where you don't want the shade. And, yeah, um, I recently just bought three or four, I think, and, like, I love them. The next shade that she uses is the shade Pinkity Drinkity. This is like this light pinky color inspired by the drink Pinkity Drinkity. And I was gonna be taking this blending brush. I got it in the black and white collection from Morphe. And I was gonna be blending the edges of that. The reason that I like to do my face first sometimes is if you, you can like be messy and you don't have to like be careful because if you mess up an eye look, you can't like clean it up if you have foundation on. So just note that if you're doing this look or if you're not, just a tip. You know. Now I'm just gonna be going back in with my Elf Camouflage Concealer, and I'm just gonna be cutting the crease. And I have a half cut crease tutorial if you want to know how to get one. So if you just want to skip over this part and go watch that, if you're trying to do this look, it'll be in the links. It'll be one of the links down in the description below. So just go check that out. Okay, so that is the pink look. That's kind of the pinky done. And now we're gonna go and put a shimmer in the inner corner. Like on the half cut crease. I'm just gonna be going in the shade um, nine more. You're just gonna get some setting spray. My fa new favorite is the Morphe setting spray. Um, it's $15, but I actually bought it in a set. Um, if the set is still going on, 
I will put it in the description. It comes with a setting spray, a Morphe sponge, and then a Morphe eye primer. And I haven't tried out the Morphe eye primer. I'm gonna spray the shade with that and then put it on the inner corner. We're gonna be going in with the lightest color ring light and then putting the other shade on the inner corner. And then going back in with that pink color skip, you're just gonna run it over the edge of the cut crease on the bottom like lash line area. Um, it just makes the eye look, look a lot better, so that's why I do it. The outer V, I'm gonna be taking the shade, love that. That is one eye all complete. Now I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera to save some time and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and both eyes are all complete. Now we're gonna move on to the face portion. I'm actually just gonna go off camera and apply some foundation and concealer and I'll be right back. Okay, I know I said I was gonna do this off camera, but I'm actually not because I kinda wanna talk to you whoever's watching this and just kind of like you know um chat or whatever so the new foundation that i've really been loving recently is the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation i like it in the shade i think it matches me in the shade f1 which i think is the lightest shade um it would be awesome if i had like a very good skin where i could just use that shade in the palette but like i don't so that's not happening yeah and i just want to give like the palette a good chance and like make this Instagram worthy, you know? I'm gonna be grabbing my Morphe sponge and I'm just gonna spray it a little with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is one of my favorite foundations because um, I don't set my foundation anymore and it dries down to like a, not matte matte, but not like dewy or like stuff will get stuck on it. And then I'm just gonna be using my e.l.f. 16 hour camouflage concealer once. Oh my God. This stuff is so messy. Literally, that's, okay, yeah, I don't know if I'm liking this now. It's so messy. Um, the other day I bought this e.l.f. Duo concealer stick and I was gonna be using the white shade. I'm gonna be highlighting where I need to highlight, you know? Which is gonna be like right in the inner corner. If you don't bake, this does really, cause I don't bake, so if I don't set my face, I'm not gonna bake. But since you, I don't bake to highlight under my contour, I just do this because it highlights it. With, like concealer because your concealer is kind of lighter than your foundation. And if you're on the lookout for a new sponge, you I really like this one right here. Like I said, it's the Morphe one. You can buy it at Ulta on the Morphe website, and you can use um, very very many different codes from like influencers, like whoever you watch. Um, I use Guy James because it's like I don't know. He says it a lot, and I know a lot of people get annoyed. This is totally off subject, but like you remember it if he says it a lot. Like I don't remember anyone else's. So if you're constantly not putting it out there and you don't have it on merch and you don't see people wear it every day, and, you know, then you forget like what it is. So I just know I've called it Code James. So that's the one that I'm gonna use. And then after I'm done with that, I'll just blend everything in with this Lexi 532 round top linear brush. And it's just like a foundation brush. And I'll just like go over and tap and this just makes it not as, I don't know how to explain it because the Beauty Blender kind of leaves marks in me sometimes and this just kind of like sets it so this is my setter find a good color in the james palette i'm actually going to look at my bronzer that i already use and um this is my bronzer i like to use it it's the h hl lo -Fi palette from morphe and most of the time i use this shade right here so we're just going to try to find the shade in the james palette that looks similar um i'm gonna have to say it's going to be this one which is the one that he used called um punch me so, we're gonna dip in that. I'm just gonna be taking this brush that my best friend got me for my birthday. Thank you if you're watching this. Um, yeah. This is cool tone, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but we shall see. Wow. That's a good color. And then it's gonna look kind of harsh, kind of like that. You're just gonna take your brush and you're gonna go under it to get that sharp contour, and then you're gonna go over it. And it just kind of diffuses it, which I know you're like, what's the purpose? Like, just don't put that much on, but it... So yeah, then it looks like really good and natural. So like, if, you're set, if your face is like set, like really dry and you're gonna look dry, people are gonna know you have makeup on, I mean. And then I'm just gonna be going into the shade Rusted, this shade right here. And I'm just gonna be using that for blush. Actually, we can even take some of the shade to skip, since this is a pink look, and you're just gonna tap it on. And it's gonna look kind of 
you're gonna look like a clown. Honestly, you will, but just trust the process. Take your foundation brush and just stipple it in. And honestly, it looks better. If I'm wearing red or pink, I'm definitely gonna be blending into the eyeshadow. It looks so good. Bronze, we've blushed our face. That isn't even a word, what the world? Now I'm gonna be taking the Morphe setting spray once again and spraying my face before we put highlighter on. So. That smells like cologne. That's weird. I'm dipping in. And I'm gonna get my M501 and I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Face, which is the highlighter shade in the James Ross palette. A haul and an Instagram videos. It's so funny. I'll play a clip of me doing it in my Instagram video, but I like put it on like this. Isn't that funny? I know it was. When someone's watching your video, you want it to kind of be funny. Like for them to be like, oh, you have like really funny. I'm gonna try the shade of Mary, which I think is the one he used anyway, this one right here. And I was gonna be putting that on my lip. And I'm actually gonna spray it to see if that'll work because it's gonna be wet. So it might stick easier. I don't know. Am I ahead of the future? Probably. I'm just gonna tap it on. Okay, honestly, that's adding color. And I, I'm actually gonna be putting a little bit of the shade. I love that as well. Um, just like on top of that. You know what it all, you know what it honestly feels like? It's like a velvet lipstick. Taking the shade at Skip and I'm gonna be running that under my eye like this. And this just kind of connects the eye together. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Everyone does it, so I'm doing it. I'm gonna be putting on some mascara. I'm just gonna be using the Grande mascara. Um, I got it in boxy charms, so I want to use it. My face, one more spritz of the Morphe Setting Spray, and we're done. Right, that is the completed look full face using the James Rose palette, except for foundation and concealer. You know, I really can't do anything about that. And mascara. So, this is the completed look doing the almost full face using the James Rose palette. Um, everything except, I think, except foundation and concealer. And yeah. I think this look literally turned out so good, the blush especially. I'm definitely gonna be using- <laughs>